Well, first and foremost, um, you know, I think I should say I'm delighted, elated, um, you know, hugely honoured really to be to be sitting here today. Um, nice to see so many faces that I recognised from a few years ago, and I'm sure we will pick up where we left off a few years ago, Ronnie. Um, but my, my initial thoughts, you know, can't wait to get started really. I, I think there's, um, I played here for four years in the early 90s. At a time when, you know, the club wasn't at its greatest heights, and and yet when I left this football club, I was, I was, you know, overwhelmed by the, the support that, the, the greater family, showed me and gave me the support. As when I'm, I'm talking in that term, you know, I was, engulfed by thousands and thousands and thousands of, of messages of goodwill when I left this football club, and, and it leaves you with a with a warmth and a, and, a, and a support system behind you. And when this opportunity arose for me, you know, I felt drawn really to this to this uh, opportunity. And, and here I am today, as I said, all those words, elation, delighted, um, honoured, uh, looking forward to getting started. Can you talk us through the timeline of events that led to you sitting here today, <coughs> the emotions, the decision you had to make? <coughs> well, I obviously, we we at West Bromwich Albion suffered, uh, you know, a major disappointment, I would suggest, at the end of the season. We, um, I feel it was a, a season I, strangely enough, thoroughly enjoyed because I think the football team did themselves huge amounts of credit in a, in a Premier League season, in a, in a season where they more than held their own and yet the points total at the end of the season didn't reflect that and, and yet there was lots of positives to come out of it. Um, I think certain things at the football club that I'm just leaving really came to a point where, you know, there was, there was I had decisions myself to make this summer and, and, and yet as, as it often in life happens, an opportunity arose for um, for me to to explore this this opportunity, and um, and the more it was explored, the more I I knew it was right for me. It's a, it, as I said, it's a, a huge draw for me emotionally and you know professionally as well, of course, because because of the size of the club, the size of the support, the history, the tradition, all the things I I hold true really when I, when I talk about footballing philosophies, you know, I've talked a lot at, in the West Midlands, at West Brom, as, as a lad growing up, you know, loving football since the day I can remember, and um, and watching West Brom and Jalgin in the 70s, and Cyril Regis and Big Ron's team, etc., and, and and trying to emulate that, and, and give the supporters there a, a, um, a brand of football that they could associate with, and, and look back in history and be proud of it, and, and here we are at Glasgow Celtic, you know, for... Till the, till the, since the, the history of this club started, you know, a, a team that has generally tried to give its supporters entertainment, score goals, win trophies, play with a panache and a style about them, and um, and it and it just felt right for me really. And um, obviously, it's been two or three weeks of where where Peter has been having discussions with my chairman at, at West Bromwich Albion and. Ultimately, the culmination is here we are today, and, and you know, as I said, hugely looking forward to trying to put my stamp, the way I see football, the philosophy I try and bring to the team, and, um, and try and give the supporters who show huge commitment to this football club, try and give them something back that they can, you know, enjoy watching their football team win. Hopefully. You obviously know the Scottish game. Mm -hmm. How big a task do you think you face, and how different a challenge is it from what you've had before? Um, well, you know, with, with total respect for Hibernian, I had a fabulous time at Hibernian. It was a, it was a wonderful club for me. It was a great opportunity for me to start in my football management career, and I had some wonderful years there. Um, but different ambitions of the club, I would suggest, different expectations of the support. Um, no, I'm five years on in my career now, down the line, and, and understand the, the expectations and demands of, of football clubs. Here I am, you know, understanding the demands of, of winning at, at Glasgow Celtic and uh, and trying to bring silverware and trophies and and, and carry on the, the tradition of, of success. Um, look forward to the challenge of, of European football, of course. Uh, uh, um, um, you know, for, again in, in my career, a huge challenge for me. But and yet working in the Premier League last season allows you to understand the. Um, the finer detail of what it takes to win at the very, very top level, really, you know, to, to go and compete against Liverpool and, and United and, 
Arsenal and Chelsea and, and, and feel as if you're doing pretty well on any given day against them and yet ultimately generally losing 1-0 or 2-0 or, or whatever it might be and, uh, and sitting in offices after the games with, with some of the world's best managers and discussing the finer detail of football and how they set their teams up. You know, it was a, it was a, a, a big learning curve for me and one that I'm hoping that I can use the experience of last year to help this club be successful, you know, not only in our league campaign but in Europe.